Hi, it's the 13th of June and we're planting out butternut squashes and pumpkins. This is my original allotment and it's, well, looking after itself. But about three years ago I built this gate and I said to a friend of mine this is just uh, building up my hippie credentials it's a bit like a Red Indians gate and she said You're, you don't have to build up your hippie credentials John you are well and truly you've got them mate <laughs> I never thought I had but there we are the onions are doing fantastic Best onions I've ever grown, I think. Onion sets they were from. Blueberries are doing really well. I'll have to get a net over these. Must be feeding the blackbirds again. There's the blackbird over there. Just been feeding on my strawberries. Ah, never mind. Plenty for everybody. This is the raised strawberry bed, just put a bit of netting over there. I don't think we'll kick blackbirds off. Uh, last year we got a lot of strawberries. This year, I don't know, it's, we've got a lot of leaves, not so many strawberries. I don't think strawberries are done very well alone in a lot of places. This is a nice clove artichoke. I've only got two plants of this. Ah, well, right back. Um, well, this is later. This is six o'clock in the evening. We had to take a break. So it, it, the heat is so intense um, that we, you know, three quarters of an hour out in this heat and that's enough. And uh, so we had to quickly call a halt and go back and have a cup of coffee. But we've got somewhere, got these, so some of the, uh, these butternut squash in. And it's quite a lot of mold plants. The caper spurge come up, so that should protect us against the mold and quite a lot of nasturtiums have come up and I've recently heard that slugs don't like nasturtiums so that uh, should prevent two of the pests um, yep this this bit of my garden isn't going to be very well tended this year but it's, it's, it's looking after itself reasonably well it'll be like wild gardening a bit this is another part of my allotment area and I've got sweet corn planted here. Uh, the first lot I've put in is looking quite good. Started it off in the conservatory at home and then planted it out here. Sweet corn, there's a few baby leek plants up there I've planted out and a few lettuces that somebody gave me. Uh, I've got some more sweet corn down here to plant out. And I think I'll, I'll sow a lot more seed as well to put in gaps. I'm reckoning on uh, using sweet corn to feed the chickens in the winter this year, so maize, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter, they won't mind. The broad beans are looking good, they're just flowering at the moment. Haven't had any offer there yet, no, no actual beans yet, but they're looking good. They're about two foot six high, not too many problems there. These onion sets are good. Um, it went in a bit late. I've put a couple of rows of strawberry plants in there, just bunged them in. But I'm quite pleased with these potatoes here. Um, they're all my own self, um, self-kept Sarpo Mara. And all I did was put them on the top of the earth and then um, ridge them up from the sides. Obviously I'll ridge them up again and uh, put some rabbit I've got to get, get lots of rabbit manure from a friend, so that'll be going in, in the trenches as well. And I've got a lot more to go in yet. Although it's the 13th of June, you can plant potatoes still. I've got some good uh, that have only just started chitting. And of course you plant the later ones and they, they keep longer. So they will keep through till beginning of June. 
uh, as an old potato. Right, bye for now.